Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Sarah and Philippa from We Are Twin Set. How are we already approaching the end of January? I know, it's mental, it goes so quickly. So today's video, what are we doing? Today's video is one of the most requested things I would say we've had in a while actually. It's all about our trainers and our trainer collection because we have a bit of a love affair with trainers right now, don't we? I think it's just because everyone's lifestyle, you've just got to be practical. So, and also with the trainers on the market now, they're not just for the gym or for your kind of really casual outfits. You can buy trainers and wear them with suits, dresses. You can mix them into your wardrobe and everyone just wants to be comfortable, practical, easy. And I think with the trainers that we're going to talk about, you still feel quite cool in them as well. Yeah. So we're not, like you said, just talking about a black trainer or kind of like the classic Adidas. We're talking about bits of leopard, like chunky trainers, like more fashion trainers. And it was definitely something that I would say this year that I've really kind of gone a bit more mad for because I used to say to you, I never wear trainers. When I, when I first had Alfie, I was living yeah. in trainers and you were like, I mean, I would never invest in a pair of trainers. I think I that was only two years yeah, ago. I think I had one pair of golden boots and I wore them sometimes. But now, like, I haven't bought any go boots, to. like casual boots this season because I wear trainers the whole time. And I just, I don't know, I, f I still feel really done in them and I quite like that, but I feel casual and done at the same time. But to be fair, I think we have made a few errors along the way. And so we just wanted to kind of tell you guys our thoughts and our feelings on the investments that we've made so far, because a few of them too heavy, they don't last as well, the sizing's not right, so yeah. we just wanted to be totally upfront and honest on our um, purchases so that we can inspire you if you're ready to make a new trainer purchase this season. Shall I get started? Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to make a sweeping statement. I'm going to say my favourite trainer brand of all time is da, 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 Golden Goose. I have to agree with you. Do you agree with me? Yeah. These were, we both have these, and they were our first pair of Golden Goose. They are, are they just the classic, the classic colorway, I would say? I mean, they do all different variations. Yeah. You can get like a black star, you can get a Glitter. white star. But I would say for us, the most classic is this way with the gray kind of distressed star and the black back. And what I love about these is they almost get better with age. As you can see, they're quite battered and worn, but it's okay because they actually come like this. What I love more than anything is that you can slip them on. Mm -hmm. So they're by my front door and I don't have to worry about the laces. I can just slip in, run out the door. They're very narrow on the foot. You've always said this, haven't you? That they're really, really flattering. And they've got kind of a platform, I would say. So I always feel like a bit more done in them, a bit, I feel smart in them. And these are my beloved first pair, my one true love, Golden Goose. And now got. I bought these um, I think this is my second pair of Golden Goose, so we both bought the classic black at the same time. And then I made this investment last year, the Leopard. And controversially, I would say these are my most worn pair. Really? Which you wouldn't think with Leopard, but I, I always think, and I know you do agree, Leopard is a staple. It's just how you wear it. And whenever I wear these, I just feel complete. I just feel like they finish off an outfit really well, whether it's a really simple all black outfit, whether I'm wearing trackies, whatever I'm wearing, the leopards seem to just do what I need. So I yeah, need I would say that I've always said that you need these. And what I love that they're not leopard, you know, you can get leopard trainers that are the whole, the whole trainer. And that's leopard, quite a lot. a bit too much. Yeah. Because I love this. It's kind of got that retro vibe with the white stripes down the center, the leopard on the side. They're just, yeah, I absolutely love them and worn them to death. And you agree, true to size. I always yeah. wear a 39 in them. 38, which is my size. And they, I think all the different colours, they come up in the same size, don't they? So that's a top tip. I'm going to controversially add another favourite pair of mine. Which you has can't been... can't help yourself. I can't right? help myself, which has been a winter purchase. I got these last winter from Farfetch. <laughs> they are shearling lined golden goose. And let me tell you, they're like wearing Uggs. They are so, so comfy. So are they fluffy all the way in? They're fluffy all the way in. I actually don't even wear socks. You don't need to. No. It's like an upper. You slip them on. They, they are more chunky, I will say. But I actually don't mind that because they're still narrow enough to feel yeah. flattering on the foot. I think that's why I haven't been drawn to try these because I... I don't know, something about the fluff on the side and the back does make me feel they are quite chunky, but I guess what you're saying is the shape is exactly. so slim. And they're just in the cream colour, they go with everything. I bought, as I said, I bought them last winter and it was one of those things. I don't think I wore that much last year. I don't know why, but this this year I have lived in them so, so much. I saw them on Farfetch, I've got them on Netta Porter and I'm going to say that, can I actually change my mind and say these are my favourites? 
Okay, so next up, my Gucci trainers, which I have to be honest with you, I have a love and a hate relationship with really? them now. I know, because I, when I bought them, I loved them. I wore them all the time with dresses, with jeans, with trackies, whatever. They just kind of did the trick. But I have to be honest, I'm not impressed with how they've lasted. Mm. And I mean, I do take care of things, so it's pretty disappointing to see how they... I mean, they just look battered at the back. And they didn't, they look like this pretty much after like two weeks of wearing them. But I was just too lazy or pregnant or whatever I was at the time to be able to take them back. But yeah, so I, pretty upsetting because I do love them and I love the green and the red. Because do I, you? Well, yeah, because I feel like with the leopard, it just does that, it's like that finishing touch to an outfit. It just pulls it together. Um, but yeah, a bit disappointing to see how they've worn, which has made me not really want to wear them. It's funny you should say that. Go on. They're also my worst pair. I got a slightly similar version. Not sure, I don't even know if they still do these, but they have the fold down back, so you can wear them as a slip on trainer. And when I saw them, I thought that was really great, because I brought them in springtime, and I love the idea of like a backless trainer with a dress. Yes. However, when you wore them like that, A, they were really uncomfy, and B, they just battered the back of them, so they just, again, looked really, really worn. And for some reason, maybe it's because they're super plain without, like, the back Because you almost detail. do need the back. To I almost them. felt they're a bit like, like dad trainers, but not in a cool, not in a like dad trainer way. I never felt great in them. I just, I wore them a bit, but I kind of knew once I wore them a few times that they that they weren't the best buy. So I'm gonna put these as in my in my worst purchases. Harsh. So on the subject of dad trainers, as you just mentioned, obviously that was last year's hugest, biggest trend. Everyone had a pair of chunky trainers, and that's kind of when we got on the bandwagon buying the Balenciagas. So I'm going to go back to those. So I've got the Ash version here, which I have to be honest, I've actually worn more of these really? than I have these. And the reason for it, I mean, feel the difference. Well, I don't agree with you because I actually wear these a lot, but I'm going to let you talk first. I just find it's like doing a wear workout. I like that. They are so, so heavy. I also think I didn't wear them so much because I bought them when I was pregnant with Ava. And so when you're feeling big on top, the last thing you want to wear is big, clumpy, chunky trainers below. So I think I spent the whole of last winter putting them on, taking them off, I hate not that. feeling quite right in them. Um, and I just wore, these are slightly slimmer fitting yeah they are a lot lighter and i've yeah i've worn these more than i have these and these are a quarter of the price so i'm not too sure they were the best investment for me at the time last year and now i'm kind of over, them. You're over them see funnily enough i'm going to take them from you i wear these quite a lot because i you know how i always say i feel a bit stumpy mm. and i like the fact of wearing of giving myself a bit of height but not wearing like a heel boot because i'm just not going to do that in a day so i love these with like my jogger like slimline joggers and like jeans and i feel they give me that bit of extra height so i do like them and i have worn them Probably not as much as my golden goose, I'm not going to lie. But I don't think I feel as negative towards them. No, 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 I'm not <laughs> neggy towards them. I just, I wish I'd yeah. worn them more. But do like, you think it's time to resurrect them while you're over them? I feel like I've lost the love. Really? I know. See, really I found myself looking at the black pair recently. Maybe I, I need to try it again. I just... Okay, watch this space. <laughs> We're going to do a Balenciaga trainer styling video, okay? Next up... I don't know how to pronounce them. Via, Veja, Veja. Veja. I say Vejas, but I think I'm wrong. What I think do you I say? say Veja. Veja. Does that Veja? Even word? Okay, whatever they're called, V-E-J-A, I feel like they're having a massive moment right now. I feel like they're a really accessible price point, which I love. So they're, I would say uh, most of them are under £120, pounds, £150. Yeah. Pounds. So really, really great price points. And they kind of have different styles and shapes, sorry, kind Just of whatever yeah. floats your boat. So these are the V10s, which you've seen us shoot loads. What I like about these is they feel a bit kind of 90s, like the high top type of chunkiness, but not too chunky. And I was worried when I first tried them on that I'd feel they came up too high on my foot. These are quite new for you, right? Yeah, these are quite new for me from office. They're quite new for me. And I was a bit nervous because I thought that they would be a bit high, but actually with a crop jean, with a dress, I really, really like them. I find them super comfy. And for everyone that says that Vegas 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 aren't comfy, I disagree. I know, but you always get asked, like, what size do you have? Are they comfortable? I don't know what this whole conversation is about yeah. because we find them really true to size and they're so comfortable. But do you think because, I mean, I speak for myself, I haven't, like, spent a day walking around town for them. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have. You have? Yeah. See, when I walk, 
I suppose I don't walk for five hours, but I would say I could sometimes walk for a good hour. And I find them, as long as you wear socks, yeah. I find them really, really comfy. So these are the V10s. I'd say probably, again, quite a classic style and a great one to start with if you're looking to invest. True to size, super comfy. What you got? So I also have VR, VR, Vages. <laughs> um, but the, this style actually is called Contour, Contour, Contour something like that. Yeah. Anyway, everything we're going to mention, we're going to link below so that you can check it out for yourself. But these I saw on my friend Victoria and literally I left her and I bought them on Netta Porter within about 30 seconds of and closing my front door. And then she sent me a picture and said, I just bought these, I think you need to buy them too. <laughs> and so you I did accept that you bought them for me. So I think they're potentially only stopped on Netta Porter, but that's where we've seen them. Let me tell you, these trainers are quite literally like walking on clouds. So comfy. You have never, ever put a more comfortable trainer on your foot, have you? Yes, and you know why I think they are? They feel like a very well-made gym trainer, but they look cool at the same time. I think that's they're it. Just brilliant. And I think they're about 130 pounds, but they are worth every single penny because the comfort is just beyond. I've been wearing them, I don't know how you've been wearing them, just really, really casual. Super Leggings, casual. an oversized jumper, a parker, a parker. Um, and I, yeah, I just, and when I'm with the kids, they are my go-to sneaker. I, in the past, have been found, I've been put off black trainers, like, I don't know, I feel like they feel a bit heavy and bulky, but for some reason, like you said, I think it's just the shape of them, they give you that height, they're really comfy, and I almost felt like I should have felt boyish in them, but they're literally polar opposite of what yeah. you think. So we're going to end this video on my new sneakers that were my birthday present from Alex. I've wanted them for so long. The Yeezy 500s in the new sand colorway, they are like gold dust. You can't get these, but he managed, get them. he managed to track them down with a friend who works in Harvey Nichols, and so she got them for me. So I was very, very happy, but they are, they're ginormous, but they're not heavy. So you don't feel like you're, they're light. Oh, they are, they light. are chunky, but at the moment, all I'm wearing them with is like black leggings. leggings and an oversized jumper and like a teddy coat and that seems to be my go-to look at the moment. Um, I'm a little bit scared to wear them too much with the kids when I'm in the park. So they're more like a weekend going out for brunch, lunch, tea rather than like mum life. But they're a really good colourway because they're great for the winter and also I feel like they're going to be really good for spring and summer too. So I think they're a really a great investment. Vibe. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope we answered all your training questions. I feel like we went through all the brands. Our faves are not so faves. And lucky, in between. lucky we do love trainers yeah. because we have a good collection. <laughs> but I feel like we all take a few different boxes. Yes. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Don't forget our new time is 7.30 a.m. every Sunday morning. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed. See you later.